All right, we're out riding around the Thumb today. I had to come up near Reese, Michigan to pick up some used tires. I found a marketplace, and we came across this cool little community called Watrisville. And I'd never heard of it before, and there's a sign. And there's not a lot here, but what is here is kind of intriguing. You can tell it used to be a community here for a long time. There's a very old cemetery off to the north side of town. There's actually a couple of side streets, several side streets here in town. Yeah, we're gonna turn here. There's actually a Watcher Street community thing here and a history sign saying that this was actually the Watrous General Store owned by Aaron Watrous and his crew of loggers who came here in 1852 to cut virgin pine in the Cass River Valley. In 1860, he planted the town, naming it after himself. A few years later, he constructed this building, which is the general store. The flagpole in front is thought to have been erected during the 1864 presidential campaign. Watrous died in 1868, and in 1882, the building became the Waniata Township Hall. Since 1972, it has been the museum of the Watrousville Carroll Area Historical Society. And we're going to have to find out when this place is going to be open again and come up here and check this out for sure, because I love these little small town historical museums. And here we have a couple other views of the same house through the years. You can see how little it's changed since it was built and in operation. Quite impressive. Across the street we have the entrance to the Waniata Township Cemetery. Right next to that is the Patrick McGowan House. And Patrick McGowan, I hope I'm saying that right, was the first settler in Watersville in 1851 predating Aaron Watrous by two years. And he called it McGlone's Corners. But Mr. Watrous became the postmaster, plotted the actual village, and changed the name. This house is pretty cool too, though. It's really old. It's been taken over by the Lions Club as a restoration project. And these two homesteads across the street from each other are probably the earliest architecture here in this great historic town of Watersville, Michigan. That's pretty cool. You can stop by here. You can read the signs for the historical societies. You can see the old buildings. And if you come during the time when the museum is open, you can actually go in and have a look around the Watrous General Store. So That would be so cool. If only I could find out what hours and times they're open. It seems to be a mystery, even online. Let's move on a little bit and check out some more of the things here in Watersville, because there is more. We're coming into the town itself, which is on the intersection of Ringle Road and West Carroll Road. And there's a lot of old houses and buildings here, but then mostly a lot of newer stuff too. Even a vintage 1950s Pepsi sign here, which is kind of awesome. Here are some vintage images of downtown Watersville. And you can see it used to have more buildings than it does now. But if you look out in the distance, looking to the east, you can see the church building. And that matches up almost perfectly with the vintage photograph in today's view. Another commercial building, probably here on the southeast corner. But let's go down this way and see what here. This looks like it certainly used to be some sort of store or something at one time, well, I would bet. I might be wrong, but I bet that was a store or commercial building at one time. Lots of abandoned houses, the empty homes here though. We just passed that little cottage type house that's empty. And just up the road here I saw several empty homes on the way into town. We're going to look at a couple of interesting houses though that we saw here. One of them is just an awesome old house that I did not notice a sign in front of, but we're going to show it to you. It even has a carriage house out back, which, which I absolutely love, houses that have matching carriage houses. And there's the carriage house back there, which matches this just awesome looking house here. This was the home of Richard Burtis. He arrived in Watersville in 1857, became a businessman and postmaster. He built this house starting in 1879. 
and it's described as a prime example of a second empire home. And it's, it's quite lovely, quite distinctive, and it's been featured on the uh, several different ghost hunter type TV shows, and I believe on a restoration type show as well. I also found this really cool old artist's rendering of the home from the early 20th century. They're keeping it somewhat up to date and trying to take care of it. Because those are expensive type houses to maintain, the way the roofs and designs are on them. But I say, look, we're, we're up here on top of the valley and you can see for miles in every direction we're up on a hill here. And the view is just stunning. Even if you take into account the uh, wind farm that's encircling it now. This old school building is on Ringle Road. And if we head south of town on Ringle Road, about a mile and a half, we would come across the junction with the Michigan Central Rail Line, which helped spur development in this area when the rail came through. Just a lovely area in mid-Michigan in the lower thumb here. If you get a chance to take a drive up into this part of the thumb area, just north of Highway 46, I would highly recommend detouring through Watchersville and exploring our great state. Thanks for watching, have a great day, and bye for now.